Look at the one you have in your hand. Oh, I can look at the one <laughs> yeah, in my hand. You're holding, you're, you're currently holding a piece oh, of Oh, look at it, I have something in my hand. Good mythical morning. And I am in a good mood today because we're gonna be having breakfast for dinner and that always puts me in a good mood, mm -hmm. but we're also gonna be having dinner for breakfast and well, maybe we'll be surprised. Yeah, and today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. <laughs> HelloFresh makes eating better and easier by delivering everything you need to prepare wholesome, delicious meals right to your door. Uh-huh, that's right. The recipes included with each HelloFresh meal kit are delicious, and there's always something for everyone, like low-calorie recipes, vegetarian recipes, and family-friendly recipes every week. Or, if you're a meat-eating single person who doesn't think about calories, not only are there plenty of options for you too, but I'm also incredibly jealous of your lifestyle. Yes, and the other great thing about HelloFresh is how much time and stress it saves you. Forget about trips to the grocery store or figuring out what meals to make and how to prep them. HelloFresh takes care of all of that, helping you get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options, which means Ooh. you'll have more time to do things you love, like quaffing your beard or reading articles about how to properly quaff your beard. Okay, now usually Christy is in charge of my home, well, period, but mm -hmm. also specifically in charge of making our HelloFresh fresh meals, and my kids also enjoy making them, but these HelloFresh meals were each prepared by our mythical kitcheneers in 29.235 minutes. I timed them. Uh, I find that timing Jesse when she makes HelloFresh meals for our family is not usually a good idea. <laughs> Does not go well. Good point. Uh, right here I have the teriyaki pork luau bowl with kiwi salsa and lime creme. Ooh, and I have the herby chicken with lemony spaghetti with zucchini, I'm gonna get into that pretty good, huh? And HelloFresh is committed to giving back. They donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019, and right now they're stepping up their food donations amid the current crisis. Yeah, use the code GMM80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Again, you can get a total of $80 off including free shipping on your first box with purchase at hellofresh.com using the code GMM80. Mm-hmm, okay. Now let's get to baffling breakfast and discombobulating dinner in ways never before tasted. It's time for dinner breakfast versus breakfast dinner, which tastes like hot trash and which tastes like a winner. We posted a series of dinnerified breakfast versus breakfastified dinner matchups online, and you voted on which mm -hmm. ones you thought we would like better. Now it's time to find out if you were right. You'll get a point for each round that the majority of you guessed correctly, and if you get three or more points, we're gonna pose for custom wallpapers for your phone and go mythical more. Oh, but if you do not get three rounds right, we're gonna post a picture on Instagram of us holding a big old bowl of loser soup, and you must leave a comment on the photo that says, please sirs, May I have some more? <laughs> now you've been able to avoid that for quite a while, but let's see if your luck continues. All right, let's get to tasting. All right, first we have Thanksgiving dinner breakfast French toast. And they say you can eat pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, and pizza at supper time when it's on a bagel, but what about if it's fused into a pancake? This is the pancake pizza. Now this immediately looks amazing. And if you, I mean, I've got a slice, I can just kind of pull it out, pre-slice oh, there. And the pizza goes deep. The pizza goes deep. It's not just on top. There's pepperonis down in the bottom. Is it? Yes. Look at oh. the pizza. Look at the one you have in your hand. Oh, I can look at the one <laughs> yeah, in my you're hand. You're holding. You're you're currently holding a piece. Oh, of look it. at that! I have something in my hand. Uh, yes. Yeah, so th this is inviting first? all type all ty types of days. Uh, so you're doing the rip and grab here. Good lord. Oh yeah. Talk about a deep dish pizza. It's very pizza-like it. with a lot of crust. A lot of bread. Fluffy crust. Oh, let me grab that sausage there. It's for people who don't like crispiness in their pizza. It's yeah. a, it tastes good. It, that is the fluffiest pizza I've ever had. Okay. Now, now, now cut here. into that because I am very interested in what is gonna happen. Josh, can you tell us what's what's in this um, Thanksgivingified French toast? Yeah, so we took all the Thanksgiving favorites. We got turkey, we got gravy, we got oh, mashed potatoes, candied yams, and green beans, and a maple roasted turkey gravy on top with a little bit of cranberry sauce. Yeah, get that sauce. Oh, I wanna get there in the middle. The thing I like about Thanksgiving meals is that 
it are, they're all individual things, but I like mixing it all together. I like what this does for me. And you're- Plus re eggs. You're regularly dealing with leftovers when it comes to Thanksgiving time. And it's like making one of those turkey sandwiches. You want an open face turkey sandwich with some gravy on it? Do you want another open face turkey sandwich with some gravy on it? Right. After a while- Mix it, it up, up, mom! You're taking multiple bites. It seems like you likey likey. I really like this. Something about the soft fluffiness of this pizza pancake thing is, I don't know. It's all bark, no bite to me, man. This didn't make pizza better. Uh-uh. But this made French toast so different. Yeah. That it is a completely different experience, so. We are voting. Thanksgiving French, French toast. toast. But what did you think we were gonna vote? I this bet you one got this one wrong. Is really close. And I'll okay. say those pancakes are beautiful. I know. But fifty one percent of the mythical beasts thought that you would like the Thanksgiving yeah. dinner French really? toast better. Wow, I would have thought that whole pancake pizza, the alliteration, you would have been like, Oh, that sounds so good. But you know what? You were right. I think that's just a vote of confidence for the mythical kitcheneers. After all that stack of doughiness, it's time for something a little less heavy. And so we got a Caesar salad omelet <laughs> versus breakfast sushi. Now, oh, Josh, I goodness. see that you put some, uh, what I can only assume are anchovies. Mm, That's correct. This is this is a bit scary. Is there cheese down in the bottom? Oh, it's a little bit of uh, Parmesan and Romano. I mean, isn't, I, isn't there a- I'm gonna get a little bit of anchovy, just flavor, just kinda just, yeah. Get when you make a Caesar salad, isn't there egg in it? Uh, there's technically egg in the dressing, but that's kind of just in the way that there's egg in mayonnaise. It gets emulsified into it. Okay, but I'm just trying to open my mind to what's about to enter my mouth. Well, open it very, very wide. Because uh, that's tough. That is not good. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. That is quite a foreign juxtaposition. Uh, yeah, that's not coming together in a what I would call a cohesive way. Um, it's sorry. going right into the bucket. She had to blow a few chunks there. What's happening over I here, I don't need Josh? to swallow it to know what happened. <laughs> I thought the omelet was good. Oh, you did? <laughs> no, that's fine. So uh, the sushi is artificial crab, bacon, and avocado, and then we actually put that into an egg rolly. Oh, yes. yeah, egg rolly. Yeah. We're, we're experienced with the egg rolly. Oh, yeah, and then the rolly kind of spurted it out, and now it's with some salmon roe and spicy mayonnaise. Huh. I thought that was just soy paper. Uh, there's soy paper on the outside and a little bit of sesame. All right, nice. I'm glad you did that because that gives it hope for me. Mm -hmm. Very mushy, very. This cold. is also not great. Um, <laughs> I'll leave. That's cool. Um, but it is better than the omelet. I like the sauce on this, and I, and and there's a sponginess to crab and a sponginess to the egg rolly. That I mean, it's not it's not as bad as Mr. Neal is. Um, Putting on here, but it's better than this, don't you think? This is this is a mistake. It, this is cohesive, and that is abhorrent. Okay, so we're saying that the breakfast sushi is the winner. But we're not. I wouldn't really call any of these a winner. <laughs> but what okay. did you say? Sixty-six percent of the mythical bees thought that you would like breakfast sushi yeah, better. Y'all did. Y'all doing good. Yeah. You want that? You want that, fun, that we're pose? In you want sync. us to pose for you? All right, now we're getting meaty with acai meatloaf versus chicken cereal, which Josh and Nicole have discussed on their podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. Link, first of all, uh, kind of my thing. Your thing, so how is this chicken cereal? Well, so as you see, it is just checks, but then we actually took uh, homemade chicken stock and dehydrated it, turned it into a powder, and then dusted that on there to flavor the cereal. Let's see how chickeny it gets. Dusted with chicken. I thought somehow you had figured out how to check the chicken. And I was like, if he figured out how to check the chicken? We woo. do not have that science yet. You checks in the chicken again, boy? That is good. That is good, man. Checks are already kind of savory and it just like takes savory to the next level, man. Okay, well I think you're in party mode and I'm in cereal mode. Let me try again, because it's super salty. Yeah, in a good way. Which is nothing I've ever had in a cereal bowl. You don't like that? Salty and milk together. Good. Yeah, it's, it's like strange. Salt, salt flavored chocolate. But it's all about expectations. And now that I know it's that bad, then it's actually not that bad. I I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's I good. can tell. I can tell you like it. Let's let's see about this. Because right. that does not look like we're going to so enjoy. Do you it. want me to do this, or do you want to take this 
No, I want to see. I, I want to see what you've got going here because I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen. I mean, I would do this. All right, so I get to. Yeah, Thank you. that's a serrated knife. I'm not too worried about that. You can't like stab your heart with that thing. Oh, oh. you almost cut your thumb off. Yeah. <laughs> you get to at... see what happened on the back here. Oh, it's purple. So, Josh, is that meat? Well, yes. Yeah, so it's a fair amount of both meat and acai. We have blended, <laughs> <laughs> blended acai uh, with ground meat, and then we've, Strange. of course, topped it with almond butter, coconut, and fresh fruit. You're gonna slice off a piece there. Okay. Nice little slice. Just kind of. Yeah, get that. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna grab a. Uh, this is so confusing looking. In what way? A, because it, it kind of looks like a cake, maybe, but also like sediment. But when I look sediment. closely at it, it looks like raw purple meat. It's cooked, but it is cold. Just fair it's warning. Free, it's freezing. I'm not tasting much meat. Yeah, I don't dislike it. It kind of just tastes like an acai bowl with a different consistency. Especially when you get that peanut butter, or almond butter, whatever it is on top. It's so weird that, yeah, it's, that there's meat in it. And I don't want to think about that anymore because I like oh. it. Is there organ meat in that? <laughs> nope, just the acai. It has the consistency <laughs> of raw flesh. That's the thing that's kind of pushing me back. I just. This is just salty I genuine, cereal. I genuinely like this. So you're saying you hate this? No, I'm saying now that I know it's bad, it's not that bad. No, it's not bad at all. I know you love it, and I don't hate it. The the purple rawness of the non-raw meat pushes me to have to vote with red on this one. This one was also close, but 55% of the mythical beasts thought that you would like the chicken cereal better. Look at y'all, look at y'all. You know us? Three and we three. know that you know us, and that makes us feel seen. It's a foregone conclusion. We're gonna do a wallpaper, and if you get the next one right, we're gonna do it naked. And finally, we got breakfast dinner and dinner breakfast in a glass. Barbecue parfait mm. versus cappuccino beer. Josh, what have you layered into this craziness? So there's pulled pork and brisket, and that's layered with pickles, mac and cheese granola, and then barbecue sauce mixed with Greek yogurt at 0% fat. And it's cold. Yes. Mac this is a parfait. Mac and cheese granola. So I gotta go down in everything and get too. some of this. Oh gosh, Pick oh, I got pulled pork, pickles, and parfait. Cold barbecue, still good barbecue. That's some nice Man. brisket. Mm -hmm. And that's just Greek yogurt mixed with barbecue sauce? Yeah, it's good, right? That's crazy. I'm trying to figure out if it's actually better cold I think it is. I don't know. I mean, you couldn't warm the yogurt up. And yeah, would, you couldn't. It would lose its integrity. And I'm, I'm just eating what I think would be the nastiest piece, just, the, just that barbecue yogurt. Wow, you've done something with yourself over there, Josh. I mean, it really works, and you have the crunch of the other parts. That's an accomplishment, no? That surprises us. Cappuccino beer, how did that happen? Oh, a confluence of factors. That's hot chocolate stout, and is topped with foamed, frothed beer milk, and there's a shot of espresso in there as well. Okay. Ooh, that's hot beer. You don't want to drink a cappuccino with me. Uh, this is why I don't. This is why I'm married and I don't date because I, I mean I can't go to a coffee shop anymore. I mean it. It's very stout forward, but it's it's um, so it's so hot. I, I thought I, I was mean, gonna like coffee. I was gonna really like this, and I really do like it, but I don't love it in the way that the, I'm loving the barbecue parfait. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not coming together for me. It's a bit it's a bit wrong. This seems wrong, but it's right. Unexpected as far as I was thinking. So if we were voting for us, we would not have voted on what we just did, but did you? 64% of the mythical bees thought that you would like the cappuccino beer better. Yeah, which totally makes sense. Well, we're gonna have I to do it closed to. now, sorry. Mm -hmm. mm. We'll still do pictures for you. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Amanda. And we just got married in New Zealand. And, and it's time, time to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Congratulations, careful on the way back down in your marriage. <laughs> Click the top link <laughs> to watch us guess if the crazy story happened at Waffle House or IHOP is the mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Join the Mythical Society Third Degree Monthly by October 31st to get the Retin Link Bobbleheads. Third Degree Quarterly and Third Degree Annual Plan purchases automatically qualify. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.